Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, and follow the leader, 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 follow the leader, hey, follow the leader, 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 follow the leader, here we go. Welcome guys, Feature Friday, <laughs> welcome, welcome back to the podcast. Welcome back. I think that's actually the first time I've ever said those words. Because usually it's you saying them. Welcome back to Feature Friday, everybody. Uh, exactly. Um, we're gonna do some Indonesian singers that we've never checked out before. Woo. There is some. There's two names that are fairly familiar, but the overwhelming majority are very, very new to us. Which is awesome. We have Mahalini, That's Yara, a new name? and Dini. Okay. And a lot of these girls actually act as well. Ooh, very cool. Yeah, so sort of like you, you know, in the in the Filipino music industry, it's the only time that I see that. So and maybe Malaysia as well. Yeah, where sometimes that happens, where the like singers, the singers also actors. you know dabble into acting. Doesn't happen in Korea as often. Doesn't happen in Japan as often. No, um, actually. It doesn't happen in China either. Uh, I'm no, not that I'm aware of. Thailand. No. Don't, ah, in Thailand is popular. Yeah, Thailand, Thailand is very is popular, popular right? yeah. actually. Yeah, in Thailand is very, very Thailand, popular. Yeah, where like the singers are also actors, correct. and like some of their best songs are in the shows they act in. Correcto, yeah. correcto. So mm-hmm. let us know if that's maybe fairly common. We don't have any announcements this week, um, so let, yeah. let's just get straight let's into straight it. In. Yeah. St- straight in. Yeah. Straight in. The first one. Let, let's check out that Mahalini girl. Um, and the song Sail. Yeah. Or, or Sial. Sial. <laughs> Not Sail. Yeah. Sail. Sail. <laughs> <laughs> Hit records. Hits records. Hits. Mahalini. Ooh, well, I like the freaking color grading here. Woo! Oh, this makes you want to sing. I want to learn this. What are you talking about? This is a great song. Wow. Very nice sonic space. I like that. I like that delay and and uh, reverb in the piano. Oh, damn, big pilot classic wipe. Bro, I feel like this is like a fucking Christmas song as well. It is, isn't it? Oh, her vocal texture is so gorgeous. I love that. I will not accept your temporary love. That chorus progression is such an unexpected turn. Unexpected turn of the dance. This bangs, bro. Fair play. You can see why it's so requested. <laughs> That's such a cool thing. Oh no, it's a really cool break! Nice strings. I like the choir. That is fabulous! Ooh. 
it's nice because it has elements of classic ballads, Indonesian it ballads, does. but with a modern take. But she, she's got pipes, though. She can really ah, sing. Ah, totally. Total pipes. So, ma so much pipes. Can I just say, okay. That's I a love very damn good song, guys. That is a very complicated song to actually to start with because it has a all the indie folk ballad at the beginning, that it, it, the intro with that verse. It has indie folk uh, idea. So, like, mm. you have, like, singer-songwriter feel, kind of like a bit tribal drumming. It would go into the epic wilderness kind of thing yeah. but then it turns into a power ballad in that chord progression for the chorus which is 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 not the easy route for that song like mm. you wouldn't see the chord progression actually going there for that chorus yep. but i love the fact that the chorus is big ballad 90s uh, feel right uh, but it, it is in in her vocal texture you have a combination of falsetto singing into a full fold back into a falsetto ending and it's actually very that's very modern that's very new for our, of our generation i love everything about this though it's, it's really cool how it it really does have many elements from both old and new yeah i'm, I'm really intrigued as well on what her idea like her storyboarding looked like musically and the, who, who she had on her sort of mm -hmm. team to to build this because I presume, also she does have a story here, uh, I, I presume that whoever composed this, or if it was herself, Audio composed credits. by Anmesh Kamaleng, and she, she was also involved, mm -hmm. that doesn't surprise me, and Mohamed Kamga. It had a very, it had a lot of sentiment and emotion from her performance as well as the song itself. It just felt very powerful. No, and also, it, it had a lot of sense of maturity. Correct. Within the product itself, with within the song. So, mm. I don't know if they could all be very young, um, but one of them definitely is old-hearted. <laughs> uh, it could be her. At least, at least some of these influences are very. they they come from a lot of like miles of listening to old school ballads also i know that in very viral on indonesia i know that in indonesia ballads are king like people love to listen to a good ballad regardless so i think perhaps that has a good like you know there's a very good standing point uh, she's from bali that's so cool i'm very very impressed and i think this is one of those songs that uh will hold a lot of value throughout the years and i Correct. actually think it's like one of those songs that you want to invest in, like if it was a stock, you want to invest in this song because <laughs> it, it will go like this it, throughout a long period of time. Um, and yeah, I'm really surprised as well that like it's done very well in the short term. You know, this released in March early in the year wow. and it's nearly on 76 million views. Probably <laughs> double that on streams. That's incredible. You know, right, over 100 million streams, guarantee, especially with the TikTok trends. And mm. a lot of people seem to be doing this type of videos with it. Like, uh, you know, the emotional shit. <gasps> I always find those videos funny. I, I know they're meant to be like emotional stuff, but I always find them hilarious. I really love that chorus. Yeah. I love that chorus. Very, very impressive. I was just thinking about like how it makes you want to sing along. I don't even speak. I don't even speak it. And then I'm like, I want to sing along. Like it's so, it's very well composed. Shout out to our team as well for putting the, the lyrics. We, yes. we found them here regardless, but they, they were pretty much... Uh, we pretty much saw most mm. of them because it's quite a cyclical song. It has that again, that's nineties ballad, powerful lyrics. I really like that break. To be honest, that Me break too. is very, very impressive. Also, though, uh, introducing suspended notes towards the last chorus. Ah, yep. oh, what a beautiful touch! Let's have a look. I don't know if this is also ballad, but it's definitely very damn popular. And, and she's an actress. I know that Tiara okay. Andini. Um, Andini. Very, very recent, like a couple of months ago. Nice. Flip it up. With that Ooh, name, I presume it's r and or rap or something. Okay. This freaking video has brought dog shots. <laughs> so I'm gonna be fine, baby. I'm okay. 
This has strong K-pop vibes, though. <laughs> so it's like a solo that, you, like, it's a, like a solo project from a K-pop idol. Yeah, um, I like it. Yeah, like a YG, no, like a JYP. JYP, yeah, yeah I see you. you I know? see you. Like she could be another member of Itzy. Oh, maybe not. So she likes to dabble in dance as well. <laughs> Fucking move. <laughs> uh, you, yeah, so that coming. Uh huh. I like that music video, you know, it's a really sick video. I like it. Nah, 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 don't you get me all wrong Just get up on my way I've been rocking since day one I know I'm not insane Baby, I'm up high So don't you waste my time Cause all you haters can hate me now But I'm never gonna change That's a nice outfit I go vroom, vroom, vroom Sending you a message when I'm right I put my middle finger up Oh, I like that fucking middle finger up thing caught me completely by surprise. Uh-huh. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, she's, she's quite popular. So I think she's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand the concept. <laughs> Damn, quite fucking full. Yeah, it's very. She looks like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. It has, it has a lot of elements from Korean pop. That's a nice touch. I like the crown situation. Honestly, the graphics and the transitions of the music video. Nice. Okay. Okay. You could definitely Listen. tell a lot of effort and love went into this. Definitely. I definitely. think a lot. Yeah. A, a lot of care into that music video. The styling. The choreo. I like everything about this. Again, you, I like her vocal texture. I think the song, there are cer certain elements in the rap, for example, that I, I didn't particularly like. I feel like it needs uh, a feature. I think it needs a fat, thick Indonesian rapper. Uh, yeah. feature there like it just a good slot as well like a good good minute you know yeah I of agree. just someone spazzing yeah maybe that section of the rap it could have been Actually, could have been a feature it's yeah. fine it's that section's fine but it's to segue into someone yeah they need, some, they need, some some other dynamics into the, yeah into Got, the mix yeah especially of someone that had maybe a, like a deeper deeper voice uh -huh. um just to create a little bit of dynamics a little bit of a you know contrast but i like her vocal project. color i think it's nice to have an alto do pop because it has so much girth. Yep. It, it it actually allows for a lot of the, the coolness and the beat to really carry through because you have a lot of personality with a vocal a, vo a voice like that. Mm. I, I like her as a vocalist. I wonder what else she's got. She's got a, she's got a challenge. Go on, son. The, the chorus is catchy as hell, though. Yeah, Tell yeah. me that. Very commercial. Sick. Okay, kid. Okay, all right. Okay. What the hell? Right. It was nice. All right. Good on him. I want to. Can Can we listen to some some other of her songs? Yeah. Maybe something something more melodic. Oh, sorry, wrong. Because I actually think she can sing, sing. You think? I think so. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at YouTube channel, shall we? Hello, YouTube. Ah, she uh, did a live session. See, I'm telling you, I think she can sing, sing. Uzai. Uzai. Nice studio, like. A oh, lot she's of love. young! She's fucking young as balls, dude. 22. I told what you she could sing. I told you she could sing. She.
runner up at Indonesian Idol. Ah, so she's no joke. Because yeah, Indonesian Idol is actually a standard very high. Yeah, I told you she could sing. I had a feeling. So she wants to stray away from this, it seems, mm -hmm. in terms of her, her work. Or maybe she was just in the mood to make her laugh. Wow, this changes my complete perception of her. <laughs> I knew it, I could hear it. Lullaby as a lullaby. Will she go full full? Maybe. Sing. Yes, Damn. it's great. I like, you know, Tiara. I like, I like her. Yeah, she's she's got she's got depth and she's got versatility, and we like we like that. It's also quite smart of her as well to sort of go very commercial. You know, mm -hmm. have the TikTok streams, have their streaming song, very successful on YouTube nice. as well. Very um, nice. We like. And she seems to be translating very well post Indonesian Idol, which is what you wish to see. Absolutely. Um, you wish to see everyone from those sort of contests do you know translate fairly well and and. Put in the work after eight million views that's no joke I no like she's that. immensely successful in everything Pretty she does nice um immensely successful like just the dance practice alone has like a couple of mil mate Ooh, yeah very she's, cool. she's very very damn famous and she acts as well so uh, it seems since 2019 yeah 2019 she's just been fucking raking it mate, and just successful as well very nice um let, let's she, well talking about contestants let, let, and singing shows let, let's have a look at Putri's single actually that she's ah, released ah very nice um, I hadn't I hadn't known that she has a new, a new song yeah she did um, about a couple of weeks ago okay yeah she asked which part do you like the most guys Oh, <laughs> she is the sweetest what a sweet <laughs> she's the sweetest I swear to god excuse the watch a medal it's jewelry sheesh sponsorships Look at that place. And yeah, she's gonna be swimming in money soon. Oh yeah. I guarantee. She probably is already. God bless. This that, that's that's what you wanna see though. Pop I ballad. found my life was done when we broke up and I I kind of feel desperate when we were separate. Yeah, big pop ballad vibes. Without you, without you. Everything it's really well thought through here. I try to understand sometimes I'm missing you. Who made this? Yeah, who composed this? Who made this? Um our questions, our questions. Cause it, it sounds like uh so, so some of the stuff that we hear a lot here in the UK. Right? It has a lot it has a big UK vibe. <laughs> yeah, like that pop 
ballad. I mean, the message of the song has been done before. I, I understand. It's a nice message, I guess. Um, but I want to know who the fuck made this. <laughs> Genuinely. Yeah, the creds. Could be showing the Herself. Creds. Wow, Aren't very interesting. Fr- Everything herself. Written and composed ah. herself. Damn, okay. Inch- what the mm. fuck has she been listening to? Because <laughs> I, I think that would do very Brit well Pop. here in the UK. Yeah, yeah Britpop for sure. This would do very well here in the UK. Obviously, what I was alluding to, I thought Simon was involved in some way. Or someone from Simon's camp. Because this seems to be, you know, the Leona Lewis stuff. It uh, is, right? Um, also, it's the same type of message that you got with the... What was the name of the girls? Uh, what do you They're girls? like separated now. One of them had like a big scandal. Uh, okay, what the Fifth hell? Fifth Harmony? Oh, okay. Little Mix? Uh, f- uh, yeah, both. <laughs> both uh, fit the description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the Little Mix is British. So if that's like, what that's you're it, yeah. so they, they had like, like They had like a few ballads, didn't they? Yes. Post the fucking show. Yeah, and they were very... They're they still were nice very ballads. successful. No, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not throwing shit. It's just... It really it has struck that sound. a chord yeah. like that. Like, mm-hmm. It's very nice. But then... Yeah, it's very Brit pop, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Talk to my think I'm crazy. Alone in the night, no. Yeah, there are moments of magic here. I have to move to Very cool. I th- The layers of that freaking layer in the chorus. Executive producer, my dad and bro, what the fuck? Oh, my and dad then it brought tears to my eye. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so nice. Uh, executive producer, my dad and my oh, mom. Oh, come on, you guys, this um, is so sweet. A makeup artist and hijab to my mom. Oh, mom. Oh, <laughs> Damn, that's very sweet. Um, very well done. Very Guys, well done what a freaking... Uh, this is... Uh, this is what I love. <laughs> this is what I love about this, like... Because uh, uh, this doesn't happen often. This is literally the stars aligning and letting this happen run its c- course. Because this shows, this survival shows, this, like, reality TV kind of things... They are a bit of a gimmick, and they play a lot of like the showbiz p- politics. And it takes it takes a very special person, it takes a very special artist to actually combine all of these elements and make something so so beautiful. And you know, with a little bit of research that we've done here in the in the channel, you get to understand the the journey. You get to understand. Mm. The, the difficulties and all of these things that every every artist has to go through but when you when you start so young and your family is so involved and they're like the first people that believe in the project yeah, she's been involved in the in the world of music for a very long time and entertainment yeah. overall especially it, the contestant stuff the, the the survival show stuff yeah it's really cool to see to see it consolidated, to see the final, pr- that really seeing something that they probably spend their whole lives working towards, it is <laughs> so nice. Yeah, my, my, my feedback would just be keep keep writing, keep making, keep producing. And Again. I, and I, I think she has a pretty good team. This is just the beginning, I think. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is just beginning. I love the layers in terms of musical, musical uh, elements. The key change was really nice. I thought maybe it came a little bit too, too soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but in terms of like how how it progressed, gorgeous, gorgeous. I, I love the layers. I love the the cinematic elements in the in the music too. The song's fault is that it's too short. I think so. Um, at, at, at three minutes and ten, you know, it, it's a bit rough to keep that key change feeling really impactful. Mm-hmm. However, we live in the era where everyone's a fucking. It works. 
Clownfish. <laughs> yeah. You know? Is it, it clownfish? They have like a ma- Dory, whatever the Dory is. <laughs> yeah. We're all Dories apparently, because we can only listen to music that's like two minute and fifty, two minute and thirty. And in two thousand and fifty it's gonna be two minute and ten. <laughs> one minute and fifty nine. So I think it, it get it it, it It hurts itself by that. It hurt. It, yeah, it definitely hurt the growth of yeah. of the working towards that key change. Although it was the right choice, I would have wanted Not at least choice. at least like a bridge towards it. Yeah. But I don't think that's her doing. I think no, that's no, like no. people in here like, come on, we have to make this commercial, which is like yeah. fair enough. And it seems to be they doing fairly know, well. Exactly. They obviously know what they're doing. <laughs> um, what I was going to say was. It, it takes time, I think, to make songs like. When you go from like uh, being a contestant and, and you know survival shows, and she's done a fuckload of them since she was a kid, I think it takes a little while for the artist itself to get away from that mentality mm-hmm. and then to write songs that are like they're really happy with, but also that are for an audience mm-hmm. and they're what people kind of want. You do want to make music for yourself first. It it it, was, it will give you a much more long term. Uh, route to success maybe sometimes your feelings also strike a chord with everyone else but you do essentially want to make music that like makes you essentially fairly happy mm-hmm. um, because then you make more and then you refine things and then you really work at the craft and then you can get feedback you know from the data and the people and stuff like that but I think it will take some time to have like the first big hit mm. but I also wouldn't be surprised if again she's there were moments of magic here So I wouldn't be surprised if in her next few songs, all of a sudden she's she hits that fucking magic egg. I know, and uh, honestly, I love the the shout out to the videographers yeah, and like brilliant. the storyboarding in terms of like imagery because the color the color grading the scenery everything about it was just so spot on gorgeous. I was gonna say same as the Mah- Mah- Mahalini song, uh, Mah- Mahalini singer, uh, yeah, that song Sial. Sial. It was all in one room, essentially. And I really like that. Just really strong story, re- really strong performer, like in terms of her delivery. Mm-hmm. Um, really nice color grading, really nice filtering. Obviously, good good shot making, even though it's quite limited because of the, the, the actual music video. But you never felt like, oh, this was fucking homemade. Or that it was repetitive or, no. like, or flat, which I think a lot of the ch- nowadays videos if, uh, fear. Because you you need the the extra elements, you yeah. need the extra shebang, and sometimes having a one room shot kind of thing can it can feel a bit underwhelming. Yeah. But uh, I think both of those videos, uh, both of these examples, utilize the, the one scenery in the best in their best uh, way possible. GAC, um, it's been a while since we reviewed them. They did this like in the summer, actually, about three months ago or Gabriel. summer. Here Audrey in the UK. and Cantica. Correcto. I thought we'll give it a watch. Hopefully it doesn't get blocked, but it's very new. Three months. <laughs> but I like them, though. I rate them a lot. Yeah, me too. I like Gamaliel a lot. Oh, come on. Come through, aesthetics. Ooh, okay. Oh, I got, I'm banging with that. Oh, he is so OP. Yeah. Isn't he so OP? Hey, oh, choreos. TikTok, TikTok. Vibes. Yeah, okay, vibes. Yo. Hey. Yeah, he's so OP. It's no joke. Very pretty, eh? Gorgeous, gorgeous aesthetics. I'm really loving this aesthetic. Ooh, t- yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. 
I hear you in the background, dog. I can see the ad-libs. Nostalgia? Big old Disney vibes. <laughs> what the? Really want you to be the remedy, give me all of the energy. What? Really, really. I really, I really. I'm all up on ya. Now get me in the pun ya. Now roll, roll, roll your foot in. I'm a bloated RP. I really, really. Are we in fucking 2004? Wha- he literally am, I, am I about to watch a It's So Raven episode? Like, what is this? Do I have a flip phone? Like, what the fuck is going on? It really is. This song went from like, okay, nice really, commercial really R&B. Now. And then all of a sudden it's like, hold well, on a second. we're watching Disney Channel and this is G- GAC. The reason why I like this is because, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, this, this, this is like 2004. Hi, this is GAC and you are watching... Disney Channel. It's like Cheetah Girls or something. Remember, like, so what the fuck are we watching? It's brilliant though. It, like I said, it literally gives you all the nostalgia with a brand new touch, with a brand new sound at the same time. Well, I mean, and obviously I like. the market will dictate the demand that it will let you know if this is great or not. Or yeah. Yeah, so. But I literally feel like What you I know Oh the ad lips sick yeah, what the f- i i'm i'm down with this this is dope dope d-o-p-e <laughs> dope <Sheesh. laughs> i like that you know i can't i can't be is that the vibe they're on at the moment this right. is eight months ago yeah it is this album must bang Childs, like yeah, that's right. Yeah. So good, right? Bro, I what the fuck? I'm, I love I'm it. I'm genuinely very impressed. <gasps> it also runs your black eyed piece, you know. It does. I'm telling you, this is all Fergie. the best. Is the best era of the 2005, 2006? Will it? Yeah, like all here. Apple the app. Yeah. Listen, I re- I'm really down with these guys. Badu. Let's go. Yeah, no thought better is a better now. We'll make it better, better bite now. Smart mind, bright line, bright rhyme. Don't you ask what went why? Just follow my lead. Get your bins. Vroom, vroom, let's give it a try to go. Now where my bread's at? It literally it is, is a high school it musical is. fucking too, bro. <laughs> You know, but I don't dance. No, well, bada bada go, bada bada swing. Where's my brass liner? You know, you're like, what the fuck, man? This is great. Oh, and these girls are just so great. She's a great visual cast, bro. Yeah. Indonesian banks as well, huh? If her agency is not raking the modeling prospects, Ooh. 
of this guy. You know what I mean? Oh my god, I'm sure they're on covers of like everything. Nike, I could think of other like sports Freaking brands. Skin care, I will, I will buy everything. Look they at them! So Come much on. commercial appeal, these guys. Very interesting. Honestly, shout out to the stylist. They ate. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, immense market appeal, I think they have. And they're not like breaking their backs in the choreo either. It's really low key. Come on, yes! Sell me a shampoo, I'll buy it. Sell me anything. Sell me those fucking ugly ass earrings. Yeah, I'll buy them. <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of those earrings. I'll fucking get them. I won't wear them, but I'll put them in a trophy case, you know? Close your eyes. Oh! Yeah, this bangs. This is the best pop. Best pop. It's a shame it doesn't do as well, right? It's nowadays. Ah, oh, it should. This is banger. The ad libs, like they're going hard. I think, I think it's also. I mean, what the fuck? Look at their profile picture as well. I, I think. Are also, they siblings? Uh, I think they are. Are they? La last time I remember, I, I think they were siblings. Um, G A C, uh, the music group though. <laughs> music group. Not, not the. <laughs> not the uh, company agglomerate. <laughs> music, music group. Artist. No, also no. Uh, what the fuck? Maybe Indonesia? Indonesia. Band. Yeah. Uh, they're with Sony. Oh, please don't block me, man. Oh Allow my it. What God, the fuck? no. It's a vocal group from Jakarta. Yes, we know that. Was preceded by two brothers, Gamal and Audrey. Ah, uh, 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 they're, they're siblings. siblings. Okay. Yeah, and then... Gamal and Audrey. Can Kantika. Or Chantika. Ch Chantika, Chantika. Yeah, well, it was a year later that Chantika or Kantika, other person were also the likes uh, to make music and post them on YouTube and stuff. So she joined later. Correct. Pretty cool. In 2012, they released their first album. So they've been doing it for a while. They yeah. have. And I, don't, I, I don't know what happened. I, I know they took a big uh, hi break. hiatus, like a big break. I remember them for their ballads, though. Like they had really like big, big ballads. But this is so nice. I think also very smart of them to not have... Yeah, welcome back. This is when they, they came back eight months ago. Right. I think it's very smart for them to not have, uh, you know, huge choreographies. Just TikTok trendy stuff and things they can do live to fill out spaces. If they are trying to build back, I presume they probably will get the gigs where, you know, they're slightly uh, festival-ish gigs. Mm -hmm. And it's probably just the three of them play back and then off you go. Mm -hmm. A minus one, I mean, and then off you go. Just to, you know, get get the reps in, get the, the difficult environments in and stuff like that. And then, you know, you'll get your band, you'll get your stuff. You know, they're with a big label and stuff, so I'm sure they'll get all resolved. But... It's good to have those sort of choreography stuff that doesn't compromise the vocal prowess of the song or doesn't compromise their vocal ability. And it um, just suits them. they're a vocal group first. Correct. And it suits them so well because the, even though you're doing pop, a lot of the times you could, you could overdo something in order to appeal for the genre. But everything here was so well thought through. Well and both of the music videos, the scenery, the styling, the choreography, the song, and, and the arrangements of the song themselves, this album's gonna be an absolute brutal I banger. Know, I don't know if it's out or anything, but... Um, I would love to hear it I'm if sure, it is. I'm sure they'll... Sick. Hey, everyone. I'm Gamaliel. I'm Audrey. I'm Chantika. And we are Chantika. GAC. Chantika. We're a vocal group based in Jakarta. Yeah, you see, they're, they're a primarily a vocal group. That's right. Um, but it's nice for them to include, you know, like the dance practices and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they've only been back eight months. They took a fucking four-year break. God, yeah, they did damn. took a they took a, ch a chunk of the Why? time. Why? They're still with the same label, it but seems. But look at their freaking cover art. Stop. 
36 videos and like half a million subs. Not bad. <laughs> Very nice. Not bad. They do it. They, they did have huge tracks before. Well, I'm a bit afraid now because even though I'm pretty sure GAC <laughs> are maybe cool with the reviews and stuff. Um, their label might not be. <laughs> yeah, and actually their label might be all right with it, but it's just YouTube's sort of automated system is very broken um, and it will block the whole thing. So I'm a bit afraid now. <laughs> I have fear. But Fingers you know, crossed. in moments of fear, what you do, you fucking, you go home. You know, you go to bed. Okay. Call it a day. No, I'm only joking. Don't quit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am going to finish the podcast here though because, you know, if we check out more stuff, maybe the podcast will get copyright blocked and then none of you get any other reviews and none of these guys get extra exposure and everyone fucking loses. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, thank you very much for tuning in today. And if you have any other artists or performances or anything that you like us to check out throughout the week, you can do so by leaving the comments here. here. We will check them out and see you in the next Adios, one. Adios, guys. Bye-bye. Happy weekend.